friends, welcome to Aqua Bloom Boutique. If you guys are new here, you guys don't know who I am. My name is Zul, or you guys can call me Z. Anyways, today is going to be a sublimation video. So here I'm showing you guys some sublimation transfer sheet that I bought um, in the past from a Facebook group. Um, I know that many of you guys who follow me know that I have a sublimation printer, but I haven't like set a date to do that yet. So today I am just want to play and learn how to press the sublimation sheet. So I'm just going to be using the sheet that I bought a while back. So here I'm going to be showing you guys the supplies that I'm going to be used. So I'm going to be using this brush that I bought from Walmart, some flour, um, and the hydrogen peroxide here, then some gloves, and the Clorox bleach to bleach your shirt, and then foam board to protect the back of your shirt when you're bleaching the top of your shirt. You can get these from Dollar Tree. And then some foam cup where, where you pour your bleach in there to you know use the brush to brush your shirt and then these shirts are from Michael and they're the Gildan 5050 cotton poly um, I didn't buy anything from Joe Feet shirt because it was kind of hard to find these Heather um, Gildan shirt for bleaching because they're so popular and everywhere is like sold out of like the nice color they probably won't have like the not so pretty color <laughs> if you guys gonna get them um they're pretty hard to find so I'll probably find some other brand anyways um today i'm just sharing you guys my first time trying out sublimation like i had no idea what i'm doing i was just following simply sally tutorial and i also you know watched some other video tutorial but i mainly try like sally simply sally um method where she used flour to to mark like where she want to put her bleach for the design so I was trying that out that's why I bought the flower and I actually like that um, that you know with the brush stroke I like it but I think next time I'm gonna try some different method and I'm gonna try like to do like some kind of glass look kind of, like um, stained glass look for the shirt um, I found another lady here on YouTube that was doing something like that and then I'm gonna try to like a reverse kind of tie dye with the like dark navy um, heather shirt. So I'm gonna try that next. So I'm just playing and learning sublimation, and I plan not to sell these on my Etsy. It was just something I wanted to try it out and play it around with. Um, I'm not really good at it yet, and even if I want to sell it, it's probably gonna be hard for me to try to find these shirt to be able to bleach them so if i going to offer like sublimation shirt i'm just going to do like straight on like 100 percent polyester shirt without doing any bleaching um, i think what the bleach takes too much time for me anyways to be trying to sell them i know some people like to do it but for me i just want to do it for myself and for people i know just for fun like i probably will not sell these bleach sublimation shirt but I will plan to sell um just the regular sublimation shirt without the bleach you know if I find I think I kind of found two suppliers that I like their blanks and I'm planning to um, use them to just do the sublimation straight on sublimation print onto the shirt without doing the bleaching because this takes so much time you guys you bleach it, you have to wash it, and then you have to make sure that it's not going to scorch, you know, like I, it was my first time, and I made a mistake at the end, I think I, my battery ran out, so I didn't get to film that part where um, all my shirt was scorching, it, it was like a caramel brown, like, kind of like a caramel color, and I have to use almost all of the uh, peroxide, to try to get all the scorch mark out it took me like freaking like an hour you guys just to try to get all the scorch mark out as much as i can and it still leave a little tinted like kind of yellowish tint in the back but I, at least like it's a little bit wider than you know when i press it and open it up so you know, it was my first time, so I made a little bit of a mistake, and when I follow, I follow everything that Sally say. So I try to follow everything, like, in the video where Simply Sally did a tutorial on sublimation, and I use the 
he setting that she give in her video and I thought that my shirt was gonna turn out just similar like that but then um, it didn't and I have more scorch mark than her shirt you know she only have a little bit and after she spray it peroxide she was able to get rid of them but I think um, my mistake that it kept scorching on my shirt is because of the pressure I probably didn't know how to I didn't realize that I was supposed to play with the pressure of my shirt um, I think I put it too tight or I didn't know that I was supposed to test it out to see how the pressure is like before I press my shirt and I think that was my mistake that the pressure after when everything cooled down I went to test it and, and I just realized that the pressure was so tight that's why I have a hard time opening my press up so I was playing with this so now I realize it's the pressure so the next shirt um, I'm gonna try to make it better so if I'm gonna sell sublimation shirt along with my embroidery um, I can get it right most of the time so I don't to waste any blinks because I don't like to waste blinks you guys when I um, gonna go to sell these so I'm gonna be practicing more and I'm not gonna be doing the bleach shirt because first of all these golden uh, soft style shirts are really hard to find because everyone is doing it so it's it's hard to find to keep up with the inventory so I'm not going to do the bleach shirt and the bleach shirt it's just a lot of time consuming because of the process that you have to go through like bleaching it washing it and then sublimating it so it's like a three step that you have to do and I want to try to avoid that as much as possible so if I'm going to sell these I will only do it straight on like a 100% polyester shirt and I found two suppliers that carries um, those shirts that I'm going to be trying them out and I will share you guys when I do that and when I set up my sublimation printer so I will do some video on sublimation when I'm ready to do them but I really want to focus just on my embroidery and my sewing here um, I will do a little bit of sublimation here and there because sublimation also play a role into my embroidery too because if I'm gonna be sublimating some unique fabric later on just for my embroidery so I can combine all of it and so this is just the first part of me learning sublimation so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and if you guys have any questions or if you guys like can give me any more advice or tips um, I will gladly appreciate it um, it's just my first time you guys so <laughs> I'm sorry like it's not really like a good tutorial because this is just I'm just showing you guys like my first time trying something completely new um, and you know the first time it's not going to be great but yeah so I hope you guys get to see it and you know don't be discouraged to try anything new because always the first time it's not first two three four five times probably not gonna be good until you finally get the hang of it and you kind of figure it out like all the tools and all the things that you need to you know make it right you know so you guys just don't be afraid to try anything new okay just do it because if you never do it you never take that step you will always be st stuck at step zero okay you will never climb up so the point is just if you want to try something or you want to do something just do it and if something doesn't work out just uh, reevaluate it and try something else you know and improve on it so anyways I hope this inspired you guys to just do it just do it okay you guys so if you guys are new here and you guys haven't subscribed if you guys can hit that subscribe button and then bell notification so you guys can see me post up more videos and more content okay and that would really help me out you guys you guys have a good day bye guys take care i'll see you guys next time